I am Brick Road. Welcome back to another Let's Play that was purchased by the people on the Minecraft server. As you know, I recently played a Sega CD game, which we will not discuss, because somebody on my Minecraft server gave me 256 diamonds. Well, after I have all those diamonds, I'm like, what else could I possibly have in my little brick tower that I live in in Minecraft that I don't want to go out and get myself? And the only thing I could think of was the music CDs. There's like 12 or so music CDs, and I'd like to have a complete set, but I'll be damned if I'm going to go out and get them myself from... I don't, like, you have to get them by having a skeleton kill a creeper. Whatever, I'm not going to discuss Minecraft in some other Let's Play. The point is, somebody gave me a bunch of CDs and said play Shire and the Wanderer for Super Famicom. So, I had a friend of mine hunt down a translated ROM, and I plugged it in. In this game, it's a roguelike, so it's going to be kind of similar to Spelunky, which I've already played, hopefully without all the failure, but... I've never played a Japanese roguelike before, and the idea of a Japanese roguelike compared to something like NetHack is basically you keep some progress in between tries. Like, dying doesn't always mean starting all the way over from square one. So I'm kind of looking forward to learning this game and figuring some stuff out and hopefully not failing. And I do have to admit that this is not going to be a completely blind run. Um, it was supposed to be a completely blind run. Let me go up here and get my free rice ball. But what happened was, I started recording it, and I recorded like 45 minutes of video, and then I got an error message saying I was out of hard drive stage, which is hilarious, because I was watching, I forget whose it was, but I was watching another Let's Play, and a guy said that exact same thing. Oh, you know, I recorded a bunch of video, and I had to throw it out because I ran out of hard drive space. And I remember thinking, dude, you are an idiot, because that would never happen to me. But here we are, it happened to me, I'm an idiot too. So I'm not going to run around and talk to everybody in the town, and I already know kind of how this works. There's the bar there, you can get a free rice ball every time you come back to life. This is the warehouse here. Anything you throw on the floor, such as this rice ball, I can put that down. It'll stay there until I want to come back for it. Like that. Um, this would be the inn, which is, as far as I can tell, serves no purpose except as a respawn point when you die, and also Wolverine lives here. And, uh, that little bouncing thing next to me is a weasel, who, as far as I can tell, just makes snide comments about things. Here's a little challenge dungeon place, which I guess I'll do that first before going into the real dungeon. And then the real dungeon is over here. So... I guess let's let's get started. I actually have, I've only made it about three floors deep in the dungeon. That's about how far I made it with uh, 45 minutes of play. So there's still a lot to figure out in this game. So I'm gonna be at it for a while. And yeah, I know how this works. Let's let me in. Yes. Okay. This isn't the real dungeon. This is just like a little challenge dungeon. Like you're supposed to figure out. It's I guess it's meant to, to teach you things. Like this dungeon is supposed to teach you how you can walk diagonally through squares like that. Which is kind of problematic, honestly, because I'm playing on a controller, and SNES controllers and SNES games, you really can't get a diagonal first try a lot of times. So a lot of times I'll try to walk diagonally, but end up walking forward. And in the actual dungeon, it's a problem, because sometimes you just want to face a particular direction, but you can hold the Y button and just kind of spin around in circles. So, that's one of the things that I learned. Come on, I want to climb up. There we go. So now that I've done his little problem, what's he going to give me? power. Or, oh, you know what? Last time he gave me something different. Hold on here. What does this do? Your power will raise by one point. You know what? I'm going to put that in the warehouse here and save it for later. Alright. Let's put that on the floor and I'll take my rice ball with me. Okay. So, into the dungeon. The way this game works is there's this giant dungeon and it's randomly generated every time you go in and the whole point of the game is learning Yes, I already know. Yeah, I... I already said I knew. Oh, you butthole. But you fight monsters and you get items which you might have to identify and blah 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 blah. You'll see it as I go. It'll be good times. There's also supposedly shopkeepers. I had not met any yet. But I'm going to try to not steal from shopkeepers if I can help it because that was kind of my downfall in uh, Spelunky. And oh my goodness, it started me out right next to three monsters. Well, let's... Okay. I do know from NetHack experience that it's better to fight monsters one at a time, so if you can lure them into hallways or something like I did here, it's a lot safer. The other thing I've learned, also from NetHack experience, is it's better to approach a monster, or it's 
Better to let a monster approach you than to approach a monster itself. This willow staff is yellow, which means I don't know what it does. I kind of haven't figured out that the strategy for sticks and things, but I'm guessing that's the kind of thing that's going to come with experience. So I don't know what any of these things do. So I don't know if it's better to just start using items when you find them to try to identify them, or to kind of identify them as you go. I'm not sure. Yeah, we want to walk around that little spring trap now. So because walking diagonally is kind of a pain, I'm thinking I might want to play this game with a keyboard. I might want to remap my stuff and play it kind of like I play with, uh, play NetHack, but, eh, haven't decided yet. Now, last time I ran into this woman, she wanted to do something fun, and she ended up blinding me, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I want her to go away. Yeah, I want her... Yeah, beat it, sucker. fight these Tengus. Oh, I didn't want to wake that one up yet. So far, all the monsters pretty much are just melee creatures. Like, that's kind of all they can do. I did find one monster that poisoned me, and the poison also, uh, slowed me down and lowered my attack power, and that kind of sucked. So hopefully I won't have to deal with them for a little while longer. That's kind of where I was at when my last recording took a crap. <laughs> was, uh, learning lessons about how to deal with these poisoning monsters. Now, one Japanese work like I've played is I did complete the uh, Ancient Cave in Lufia 2, which was kind of like this, in that um, it was randomly generated every time you went in. Whoops. Not paying attention. And you kind of had to make tricky decisions about when to fight monsters, and when, when to run away, and also what kind of equipment to prioritize. But there was also equipment that you could take out of the dungeon with you, like you weren't always going in naked. So I'm expecting this game to end up a little bit like that. Come on, don't be shy. And I love the little level up chant, I'm a big fan of that. So it's time to kill this guy. Yeah, yeah. You stepped on a weird switch, but the trap didn't go off. I'm glad. Why did I step on that? I knew that was going to be a trap. Ugh. And there's an item. Like, green dots on the map are items, the red dots are monsters. That's one of the first things I learned. A life herb? What does that do? This will raise your max hit points. Well, yeah. Sweet! Your hit points do regenerate over time. I haven't determined whether or not... Because you also have, you see, satiation there. That's how much food you have in your belly. Um, I kind of haven't determined whether or not... What was I saying? I lost my train of thought because I got attacked by a rabbi wannabe. Ooh, an identify scroll. I will identify something. I will identify... Well, these pots are supposedly helpful, so I will start with that. It was a holding pot. Ooh, that's probably excellent. So, excellent, because now I can put my rice ball in there. And uh, the scroll in there. And I guess I'll hold on to these sticks. You know, I might as well just put everything, well, I might as well just put everything in there I can. This is a bad idea, net hack, because sometimes if you put the wrong thing in your bag of holding, it'll explode, but I don't know if that'll happen in this game. But there are water traps, and if you step on a water trap... Um, any rice balls you're holding rot, and they become poisonous. So putting them in a pot, a happy NPC told me, will prevent that from happening. And then there are other kinds of pots. Like, I found one pot that I used it and I just crawled inside of it for a few turns. I don't know what was up with that. Come on. There we go. As you can see, like, the game is set on a series of steps. Like, as long as I'm standing still, nothing will 
happen in the dungeon. But every time I take a step, it's like one turn elapses, so every monster gets a turn as well. And there's supposed to be like little secret passages and things, but I haven't found a good way to determine where those are. He almost got the drop on me, but he did not. Bean Bandit. Oh, that one got the drop on me. Yeah, I gotta learn to not do that. That's gonna get me killed one day. Where's my satiation at? 61%? I don't know when you should eat your big rice ball. Like, I don't know how much nutrition you get from a big rice ball. It's a change in scenery now. Hey, a sword! Awesome! That's the very first sword that I found. Those are the guys that poison you. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I haven't found a sword before. How do you like that? This is a... Uh, what does this do? Oh, it's a healing item. Might as well... Put this stuff in my pot. Awesome. Oh, I love it. I love having a sword. Finally. Finally. I've been punching monsters for so long that... Oh, he got me. I didn't find any arrows yet either. Well, let's kill this guy first. You know what? That's dumb. Why am I standing here? Let's move to a space where I can't be shot. I was hoping he would drop some arrows. 